Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new to my channel. I'm Shelly, and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, and you can find all of my stores as well as my Instagram under Shelba Posh. Um, I also have those linked down below in the description box for you if you want to um, have a quick access to any of those um, stores or anything like that, or follow me along on Instagram. Um, today, I'm at the Goodwill Outlet, so it is um, Goodwill's like pay by the pound location. So yeah, we're going to go in there and see what we can find. Starting off this thrift with me footage, I wanted to show you this bin. So this was actually in the row of like hard goods, which is like shoes, um, electronics, any miscellaneous kind of things. Um, there was just a random bin they rolled out that was a clothing bin. So just always check like all the bins um, everywhere, like people's throwbacks and just everything because you never know what you'll find in those bins. Um, so this bin was just a random clothing bin that they had rolled out with the hard goods. Um, and this was later after the commotion of the new bins when I was looking through this but um yeah I'm seeing some old navy this had a lot of like kids pieces in it but also a few um women's pieces as well I don't really pick up kids pieces too often this I thought actually was going to be a Patagonia little t-shirt but it was actually an adidas top but the tag as well as the like graphic at first I thought was going to be a Patagonia one and I liked this print of this fleece a lot right here, but I did leave it behind. Uh, I think it was like L.L. Bean or something. Um, this athletic t-shirt I was going to grab for myself, but it did have a bunch of staining, so I did leave that. Um, but yeah, this cool printed piece. I don't think I showed the tag on it. Here's some champion, but the print was very cool. But yeah, I did leave that behind. And then I always oh, see this. Disney piece, which you're going to see a lot of Disney pieces in this haul, but this was a, um, I think it was an Animal Kingdom t-shirt, and so I did throw this into my cart to look at. I ended up leaving that one behind because it did have a little bit more wear than I wanted. Universal Thread, that is a Target brand, and yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of like kids clothing in this one bin. These are some Cat and Jack, which is also a kids brand um this is free assembly which is a newer walmart brand so i definitely don't pick that up um here's a pair of lise leggings and i have tried to sell this brand before but it has never moved well for me so i don't pick it up anymore some old navy um this bin had a lot of like good sizes in it but i did pass on old navy pieces more kids and i think I might find another piece in here, but maybe not um, some more Old Navy jeans. I have sold some more Old Navy jeans in the past, but not super often. Um, mostly if they're new with Tag, a Champion bra. I do like to check out like all the bras and sports bras and everything to see if they are anything that I'm interested in because those are super lightweight and very easy to grab some photos and list them as well as storing them super easy. And this is a New Day tank top, which again is another Target brand, so I do pass on that. And yeah, then we're going to go into some more items. So this is my cart. So just a tip for you. Um, I know some places like my bin say not to take more than one cart. So after I have a full cart, I will find a Rubbermaid, which usually has a bunch of them. And I will throw everything from my cart into the Rubbermaid, so that way I can go through the Rubbermaid and then I put everything that I want to grab inside of my cart. So it's a lot easier to organize that way. Here is some pieces I saw, but a few pieces I passed on. That was a Prana score and comps were very low. I did have to leave behind some of the Disney pieces because they just had a lot of wear on them. Um, so sadly, I did have to leave those behind. I think that was a Torrid Disney piece as well as this one was a Torrid Disney piece that I left behind. It had a lot of pilling on it. So I did have to pass on that, but like I said, you will see more later on in the haul video. And then just going through, oh, this piece I thought was really cool. This again is a Disney piece. This is Disney Cruise Line, but it had staining like all over it, like just kind of all over discoloration. And I just didn't think I could clean it off and comps were pretty low. So there was a lot um, listed. So sadly, I did leave that one behind, but it was a really cute little like terry cloth zip up dress. This is a Disney piece that I did end up grabbing, um, but I'm just kind of looking over condition and things like that. And it is a cute little stitch long sleeve t-shirt that I grabbed. And this is, let's see, um, this next item is a really nice J. Crew little sweater. It was missing the size 
and it was just super pilled so I did end up leaving it behind but it had cute like big gold buttons on here it was a cardigan sweater but yeah super pilly but it was very new it was from either fall I think fall 23 so very recent um but yeah I did leave it behind just because it was way too worn and the size was missing um so I did pass on that and then I also had grabbed this fashion nova new tag item um because it said it was a matching set but I did not ever find the set piece so i left that behind but i was going to look up comps if i could find them both and then this old navy new tags i also left behind but it was a really cute little blouse and so now we're going to go into the haul portion we're back for the haul portion so i ended up grabbing um 24 pounds um and the location that i go to is two dollar two dollars a pound like no matter how um, many pounds you get i know some places um, the more weight you get, it goes cheaper, but that is not the case at the location I go to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I found. And oh, first really quick, I found this little hat. This is for me and it is just Grogu or Baby Yoda. And um, I actually, whenever I thrift hats, I actually just throw them into the washing machine and I've never had an issue with that. So yeah, I washed this one already and so yeah, this is for me. And then I also found this little hat. It is a Yeti cooler hat. And this one, same thing, I washed it. And I looked this up and this one is still on the website for about 25. Um, so I grabbed this because it's a super lightweight and a very, very easy listing. So grabbed that. And then I do have one thing um, that I think I'm just gonna try at buy, sell, trade first before I try to list it myself because I am going um, probably next week. And this is a free people dress. It is size medium and it is a maxi length v-neck, like navy blue um, embroidered with like black embroidery dress. So yeah, I'm gonna try this at buy, sell, trade first. If they don't take it, then I will list it myself. Cause it is a little bit older. So I'm gonna see if they will take it first. And then next we have this piece. This piece is a good piece, but it does have some wear on it. So this is the group Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand, um, size large. And this is a long like duster um, cardigan. It has patch pockets here, and then it has a removable tie belt. And this does have just like some pilling throughout. Um, and I could get, I got off some of the like, more like prominent pilling but a lot of times with like this kind of fabric when it has like micro pilling all over it you can't really get it off with a sweater shaver but so yeah all this is a little bit lower but i did still decide to grab it and then next i found another free people little dress and this one is a mini dress and it's pink um here is the top it's like lacy and this is actually Free People 1. This is a size small. So Free People 1 usually is like this little um, circle logo or tag. And yeah, pretty pink. So I grabbed that. And again, I thought that would be kind of an easy listing. I'm going to continue on with some of the non-Disney stuff that I found. So this is um, Assets from Spanx. Um, these are a size large. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But this is like a cropped seamless legging. Those will probably be listed around like 25-ish. Um, this is a lacy bra. And this is in really nice condition. And this is from Third Love. This is the um, Deco Lace Demi Bra in a 36E. You can tell also like what the how good the condition is based on like how um, the tag looks there as well. But yeah, really nice condition. I sold... I've been selling, I sold a couple um, Third Love bras recently. I think I still have one, like one listed in my closet, but it is a brand that typically sells pretty decent for me. And then next we have this dress, um, probably also a maxi length. I thought this was really pretty. This was actually someone's throwback. It is a petite large. It is soft surroundings. And I thought this was very pretty though. Um, maybe more of like a three-fourth sleeve maxi length. And it does kind of have like a slit overlay here and then this kind of twisted v-neck situation here at the front. So 
So I thought that was really pretty and like nice with the season. So I did decide to grab that. And then next I grabbed this pair of leggings. They are more like a straight leg, I wanna say. And these are from Duluth Trading Co. These are a medium and a 32 length. And I was trying out Duluth um, a while ago and it did sell for me for like all the pieces I had did sell. I think I might have a couple listed or maybe like one, um, but I haven't really picked it up as much lately. So these were in really, really nice condition. Like they almost seem like brand new. So I decided to grab these and we'll see how those do. And then um, maybe I can kind of see if I want to pick it up more. Next, we have a Spanx item and these are a pair of medium leggings and these are the velvet and they are the full length ones so just a black velvet and these i will list maybe like 35 ish um sphinx leggings don't do as well for me as some of their other items um, a lot of the shapewear still does pretty well and the other like type of pants do really really well for me um anything like wide leg does really well um, the like skinny denim and the skinny leggings don't do as well. Um, I think there's just a lot listed, I think is most of what it is. Um, so those will list a little bit lower. And then I found this piece. This is a bodysuit. And I'm trying to, th I don't know if I've found this brand before. I can't remember if I found this before, but it's Alex NYC. Maybe I did. Maybe I did find this another time at the bins and it already sold, I want to say. Um, or maybe I saw it and it was like not in good condition, so I didn't pick it up, but this is a pretty expensive brand. This is a bodysuit and it's really pretty green color and this is a size large. So I did decide to grab this. Yeah, I really love the color of this kind of a high neck as well. So picked that piece up and then let's see, I have this little swim dress. And this was new without tag. It still has like the hygiene liner and everything, but this is really cute little swim sporty dress. And it has, it's like a bodysuit almost underneath. So it has the shorts attached underneath and then like the overlay of the dress built in padding. And this is from LL Bean and this retail for like 120 and it's still on the website, um, but not in this size. It is a size 18. So I decided to pick this up new without tags really really great condition and a cute little style so so i'm not sure exactly if it's like swim or more like an athletic dress but either way either way i thought it was very cute um and then i have a couple of lemon pieces this first one is a swiftly tech little tank top and this one is a size eight and it does have a couple marks here on the front and i did already wash it and they did not come out but kind of hard to see them, but I still decided to grab it super lightweight and this will still sell just for a little bit lower. I'll probably list it at like 30 maybe and get an offer. This tank top is a little bit of a newer style and this one, it's similar. This actually might be a newer or like a different kind of style of a Swiftly tank. It is more like this strappy back, but it does have the kind of classic Swiftly material so actually this might be a type of swiftly tank and then again it has a logo here this one is a size 10 and this color is really pretty so this one is in really nice condition so i picked that up and then what else i think everything in this bag is disney stuff so let me show you a couple pairs of jeans i found this first pair i think this is literally like the only men's piece that i grabbed this is Citizens of Humanity, and these are the um, Gage Classic Straight Jean in size 36. And these were just in really good condition. Um, just a straight leg, black denim. So they felt like almost like brand new. So I decided to grab those. And I looked up comps. They were kind of mixed, um, but there were some um, higher around like 50 or a little bit more, but some were a little bit lower around like 25 ish. Um, but so we'll see. I will try to look up that exact style, like the colorway and stuff like that. And then here's a pair of American Eagle jeans. 
These are the 90s boyfriend and these are in a size 16. So I was very excited to find these. I love selling um, American Eagle jeans in bigger sizes. They always move like so, so quick for me. Um, anything like over a 12 or a 10, I would say, do really well. So cute style, lighter wash. And then I also found this one other pair of denim. I thought these were interesting. This brand, I've actually never picked this brand up, I want to say. I know some people like picking up like the sweaters from this brand. It is Pole. Um, these are size large. This is um, a brand that is sold a lot at like boutiques as well. And it was actually kind of difficult looking up comps um, on Poshmark because a lot of the comps I was seeing was actually like boutique closets. So they're like wholesaler or like they buy stuff from a wholesaler and then sell it in their closet. So it was a little bit difficult, but I mean, they were selling theirs for around $89.90. Um, and so I'll probably list these maybe like 50-ish, but they're super cute. They're a pull-on elastic waist denim jogger with some cute cargo like lace detailed pockets. So I thought these were really cute and we'll see on these. Just because I'm not exactly sure on comps, I was trying to look at just normal closets on these and they were a little bit mixed. Um, but yeah, so there are those. And then I think everything else is the Disney stuff. So very exciting. I, it was a new rotation and I saw just this print. And so I knew it was at least Lily Plitzer. So I grabbed it. Um, and it was just one piece that I grabbed and then there was two other pieces of it. So I of course grabbed all three of those um and they ended up being at disney lily Pulitzer. so very very exciting and i will show you some of the other pieces i found as well so this is the disney parks collection with lily Pulitzer. this is a size extra large and this is a short sleeve little v-neck t-shirt and these are in really really nice condition like these don't feel like they've really ever been worn this is a little bit of an older um print from this collection but i looked it up and i should be I'll list all three of the Lily, Lily pieces separately, but I should get around like 200 um, in total for all three of them, which is awesome. So yeah, I found this t-shirt. This is from um, 2021, this print, and they are all that print. And then I also found this little tank dress. Again, same print, kind of a swing tank dress. And these are all extra large. So same tag and everything. And this one feels like it's seriously never been worn. Like it feels like crisp still. I did not um, end up washing these because I didn't want them to fade at all because they are like so crisp and bright and vibrant still. And then this one as well, again, extra large. And this is a long sleeve, kind of almost um, reminiscent of a spirit jersey style. So the long sleeve and then the white here at the bottom with this cute little is it Minnie, I think? Or no, it's Mickey. Mickey Mouse here in the corner. So extra large again. So very cute. So excited to find those pieces. Um, and then I started finding some of the other pieces. And some of these were throwbacks, but, and I did leave some behind due to wear. Um, but I did grab a good amount of it because it is um, size extra large, large, and 1X. So um, good sizes for Disney pieces. Some of them won't sell as much as others. Like I said, those Lily pieces will do really well. And then I also found this t-shirt. This is um, Disney Parks Collection by Tommy Bahama. So another one that's a little bit more of a more expensive line since it is with Tommy Bahama. This is a size extra large and just a cute little Minnie Mouse on here. So this one will definitely do a little bit better as well and then let's see okay so first this is so disney um if it's disney parks line it should have this little castle here um on the tag so this is a size extra large this is a t-shirt and it says be the one who went for it the um words are embroidered which is nice and then some cute little um, pieces all around it some like roses and just like a mirror seashell so different like based on different like princesses so that was cute and that one's in really nice condition and then this one is a Disney 100 
and they actually Disney 100 like there was lines at like Target and stuff so I thought at first this was going to be one that was sold at Target but it actually seems like it's one that was sold at Disney Parks because it does have Shop Disney here on the inner tag as well as this is like Disney's Disney Parks collection um, tag. It's like a super long receipt kind of tag. This one is the only one that has a tiny bit of wash wear, but very cute is Minnie Mouse for the Disney 100 anniversary. And that is like Disney as a whole company, Disney Company 100 anniversary. Um, Cause I will show you, there is a few pieces from the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, which that's just the park Walt Disney World. And then the 100th anniversary was the whole company as a whole Disney company. So I have this pair of leggings and this has a bunch of different characters and pieces. Like there's the castle, um, Epcot ball, Minnie Mouse, Remy, different like rides, different parks and stuff are all on here. And this is part of the Disney World 50th collection. And these are in a 1X, so that is why I grabbed these. Some of these pieces might go for a little bit less, but again, with the size and things like that, I decided to grab it. And then this is a full zip sweatshirt. And this again is a 50th piece. And then the back is really cute. It has a bunch of the characters on it in the castle. And then down one of the sleeves, it has Walt Disney World on here. So very cute. I think this is an extra large, I wanna say. Yes, this one's an extra large. And this one did look like it was going for around 50 on Poshmark. And then next we have this pair of black leggings with like rose gold, little Mickey Mouse, um, character on here and these are again Disney parks and these are size 1x so picked those up and some of these leggings maybe will be like 25 ish and then I found this pair of leggings this one is also Disney parks size 1x and this is the cat Marie so pretty in pink color here and then we have this shirt this one is an extra large and this one is a long sleeve and it's kind of almost a burnout material you can kind of see a little bit of a lighter weight material and this is stitch and it says love stitch people really like stitch so i grabbed this because of that i do notice people really like stitch is one of their favorite characters um and then this i really like i wish this was my size i wish some of these pieces were my size or family sizes um but that is okay this is extra large and this is actually based on a vintage Disney shirt so this one was comping a little bit lower so maybe I'll see if someone in my family wants this it's a little bit bigger because it is an extra large but maybe with like bike shorts or something would be cute but yeah just like a fun tie-dye vintage inspired short um short sleeve t-shirt and then we have this pair of leggings and this is actually from um, like a torrid Disney collection and you can tell that from this little one here which is a 1x and they also have the style um, number down here which I looked up and is part of torrid's collection so Disney size 1x and from the front they just look like some black leggings but on the back they do have little mini mouses so grabbed those because I have sold some Disney um, and torrid pieces before and they've done pretty well and then last piece of clothing, this is a pair of polka dot jogger sweatpants and they have this little Minnie Mouse right here. And I think these are kind of more recent because um, I think I saw these kind of recently. So yeah, there are those and these are size large actually. I think maybe they run a little bit oversized. And then a couple accessory pieces, no shoes this time. I found this little Vera Bradley um, crossbody little wallet. These can come off if you want the strap. And then this purse, and these were all just in really nice condition, which is why I grabbed them. Um, Vera Bradley doesn't sell for a ton for me, but these were in just such nice condition, so I did decide to grab them. 
And this is a quilted little shoulder bag. The strap can be lengthened if you want. And then this last piece, this is, I think they said a travel organizer. So it has like this big pouch here and then a cute elephant print. And then the inside has like a bunch of places you can put stuff. So, um, yeah, that is this whole haul. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed for any of my Disney lovers out there. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the fun pieces that I found. I'm very excited with those pieces just not all of them are going to sell for a ton but um just being a disney lover it is fun to like find some disney pieces especially all the way out in like massachusetts so yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed some of the thrift footage and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye